subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasse here and today in this video I am going to show you how you can buy any game on the Steam store in Pakistan. So let's begin the video. So here I am on my Windows PC obviously if I am going to use Steam. So on my browser I have already opened Steam's website. I will put this website's link in the video description as well. So first of all I am going to log into my Steam account. If you don't have an account you can make it. It's absolutely free. Sign in. So once you have logged in into your account you are going to browse the game whichever you want to buy. In my case I want to buy Taken 7. So here is the search. I am going to type Taken 7 as that's the game that I want to buy. Here you can see we have different taken some available some of them are DLC and some are full game so you need to make sure that you are buying the right thing if your game has DLCs so here let me just find taken seven ultimate edition that's the one that I'm looking for here is the one and it will show you a video preview of the game as well Anyways, you're going to browse down. So in this particular game, it has two versions. One is the simple Taken 7 and one is the ultimate edition. So it merely depends on you which version of the game that you want to buy. And guys, by the way, you can see that Taken 7 currently right now is for 6.37 US dollars. If you want to buy this game, then I think this is the best time to buy because it is at 78% off, which is really cool. Anyways, I'm going to buy this one which is for around 6.37 US dollars. I think in Pakistani rupees it's around 1000 or so. But if you want to make sure all you can type in the search 6.37 USD to PKR so that you can get an idea of how much it will cost. And you're going to search for it. So uh, it's around 1010 rupees in Pakistani and if we include some of the tax if it is applicable by the Pakistani bank then you can say around 1100 1200 rupees but it is still worth because it's an original game. So here you're going to press on add to cart. So here it will show you your game taken 7 ultimate edition and you're going to purchase either for yourself or you can send it to your friend as well as a gift but I'm going to buy it for myself here I'm going to press on purchase for myself and you can see the total is 6.37 US dollars so now here you're going to select the payment method because my account doesn't have that much balance so if you're going to pay through in Pakistan on Steam then you're going to definitely select the visa card here you're going to enter your card number its expiration date in some cards is written as valid through date and here you are going to type the CVV number if I press on this question mark it will show you basically the CVV number is a three digit number written on the back side of your credit or debit card that you need to write here and here you are going to type just your billing information meaning your address so I am going to fill up all of these four fields and then we are going to move forward because these are all confidential information. So I will be right back after I fill up all of this thing. So here I have added all the information uh, the information of my debit card and the home address of mine as well. Now the current country is selected Pakistan because I am living in Pakistan. I am going to press on continue from here and you can see uh, it's going to show you a subtotal or you can see a sub bill before the purchase is continued here you can see earned cash uh, uh, etc so the game price is 6.15 us dollars etc etc all the details you're going to accept the terms and conditions and you're going to press on purchase so now it's going to work on the purchase and it's going to buy the game if for some reason it's not buying the game then there are two three reasons i would say First of all, you have entered incorrect details of your credit or debit card. The second problem may be that you have insufficient balance on your bank account where you are buying the game from. And the third reason is that in most Pakistani banks, you need to first activate your debit or credit card for online shopping. So you need to call whoever you have your 
bank account for example i have in abl allied bank so i first called the helpline of allied bank i told them that i want to buy something online so i activated my card for an online session after that i was able to buy on steam as you can see on the screen thank you for your purchase and email for confirmation has been sent etc 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 and you can print the bill as well which i usually do if you don't want to print it you can just save it as a pdf because it's great to have a copy of whatever you're buying and you're going to go to return to store so now if you want to check whether you have got the game in your steam library or not it's very simple again in the search i'm going to type the game name again in my case it was taken seven i'm going to search for taken seven here is the one again i'm going to press on it and if I swipe down here you will have this green bar if it is bought successfully Taken 7 is already in your steam library you can either play now or install steam which is a download manager for your PC so that you can play it on your PC so you're definitely going to need that so but this tells that we have successfully bought the game so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe